Most people think listening to music is as simple as pressing play and letting your ears absorb the sound. This kind of passive listening limits your potential experience. Truly listening to music requires more than just your assumably natural gift to hear sound. Actually listening to music is to experience it physically and emotionally, as well as sonically. A huge part of listening to music is with your mind. Have you ever been mid-conversation with someone and started to drift off into your own world? You hear what they're saying, you nod your head and make noises mm -hmm. in the appropriate places, but in uh -huh. your mind you're thinking about what's for dinner, what's happening at work, or the assignment that's due. We've all done it. The same thing happens when you simply hear music with your ears, rather than listening to it with your mind. As a musician, you need to learn to listen in order to identify the individual and collective elements that make music worth listening to. How can you know what a guitar sounds like or how a song is made if you can't recognise these aspects when you hear them? This is why listening is so important. So, let's learn how to truly listen. The first thing you need to do in order to truly listen is dedicate time to listening. I don't mean while you are doing something else, although we'll get to that in just a minute. To begin with, you need to spend time just listening to music, giving it all of your attention. Spend as much time as you can afford each day only listening to music, but for this example, let's say you can afford 30 minutes. Awesome. Next, you need a place to listen. Somewhere comfortable like a good chair, a couch or a bed is usually nice. Personally, I prefer to listen somewhere I won't get too comfortable, like the dining room table or sitting on the floor. Not being able to fully relax helps me focus on the music. Most importantly, wherever you choose should be quiet and free of distraction for the amount of time that you have allocated. So you've got the time and the place, but how are you listening to your music? Smartphone speakers. How does an album stand a chance when all you can hear are distorted vocals coming from a speaker designed to make high-pitched beeps? I'm surprised you like music at all. At the very least, you need some headphones or a stereo that's not going to bother other people. Not only do you want to keep your family, your flatmates and neighbours on good terms, you don't want any excuse to feel self-conscious about what you're listening to. Remember, we're aiming for personal enjoyment at the moment. It's no use avoiding something if you're embarrassed to be heard listening to it. The better quality headphones you can afford, the higher quality sound you will experience, so go a few steps above entry level if you can. If all you have are the headphones that came with your device, or the stereo your mum got you when you were 12, then so be it. It's still better than a smartphone speaker. So here we are in our listening spot, headphones and smartphone at the ready, push play and start to listen. What happens first? Is there a melody, a drum beat, maybe there's some vocals? Start trying to identify the individual elements that make up the song. See if you can feel the rhythm, nod your head to it. Can you hear drums? Could they be electronic drums, or is that a live drummer playing a real acoustic drum kit? Focus on the low frequency sounds, the bass. Do you think it's a synthesizer or a bass guitar? Could it be a keyboard or perhaps an organ? What about guitar? Can you tell if there's an electric or acoustic guitar playing? How many guitars can you hear? Concentrate on the singer if there is one. How do they use their voice to convey meaning and emphasize the lyrics? What are the lyrics? Can you hum the melody? Something that helps me study these individual elements is trying to picture the musicians playing their instruments or the singer singing the lyrics. I try to picture a band performing on a stage in my mind and move my focus visually between band members as I focus on each individual element. A great way to learn this technique is by watching music videos where the artist is performing. As you watch the musician playing, try to match their movements and instruments with the sounds that you are hearing. Now for the most important element of listening. How does the music make you feel? Really think about this. Are you excited? Has your heart rate increased? Do you want to cry or party? Do you want to nod your head or hold it in your hands? Identifying how music makes you feel will help you make music that encourages people to feel as you intend so that you can convey meaning in your songs. Active listening can be difficult, so don't be discouraged if you find it hard at first or if you can't identify what any of the individual elements are. 
This will come with time and experience. As you get better at listening, you'll be able to spend more time listening while doing other tasks. Advanced listeners can study and enjoy music while doing things like cooking, cleaning, exercising, or commuting. But nothing can compare to dedicated listening as I've described. Listening to music while I'm making this video, for example, would require me to push it to the back of my mind, which would make for a much less involved experience. That's probably enough information for now, so I'm just going to leave you with one more thought. This type of dedicated listening is immersive, and is most effective when listening in album form. So don't switch from artist to artist too quickly. By immersing yourself in an album, you're going to appreciate the artist's sentiment, arrangement, and instrumentation as intended, as a complete work of art. You can't get the whole picture by just looking at one tenth of a painting. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what you'd like the next video to be about by writing it in the comments. Hit subscribe and head over to the Musicians Map Facebook group to discuss your musical journey. Also, go to musiciansmap.org to check out my ebook and my audiobook about growing success in music, as well as loads more free content and information.